The media's beloved strong Biden economy is a lie, and Reagan advisor David Stockman has the receipts. In recent videos, I've talked about how the blockbuster economic statistics we are spoon-fed are manipulated into relevance. GDP numbers that count ammo to Ukraine or hundreds of billions in migrant welfare as if it were making us rich. Job numbers that intentionally skip millions of Americans who've given up on the labor force while importing millions of migrants to replace them. Retail numbers that fail to account for inflation. And, of course, the human cost. Seniors going back to work or giving up on ever retiring. Record young people who are jobless, living at home, who have given up on building a future, who have checked out. In a recent article, Reaganomics champion David Sockman put some numbers on the carnage. He kicks off noting that Washington's carnival of spend, bar on print has delivered nothing but stagnation, crippling debt, and endless financial bubbles that tickle Wall Street's marbles while leaving flyover country to rust. One of Stockman's more sobering statistics is that between 1947 and 2001, paychecks after inflation rose by 1.8% per year. That's good enough to double your pay every generation. Then starting in 2001, it dropped to 0.7%, so almost by two-thirds, and continued like that through 2020. Now, I mentioned in previous videos how 2000 was an inflection, how we half-killed the golden goose with red tape, taxes, spending, and money printing. The kicker is, since 2020, that anemic growth actually turned negative. As in, we didn't half-kill the golden goose, Biden full-killed it. So forget the alleged blockbuster 3% GDP growth of Bidenomics, forget the crazy low unemployment numbers, boots on the ground, we are going down. Begging the question, what's it going to look like when we actually do hit the meat of the recession? Now next, Stockman breaks down the alleged 16 million jobs created by Biden. The media keeps repeating this. He correctly notes that most were so-called bounce-back jobs, jobs that had been outlawed during the pandemic, and then once Biden was safely in office, blue states miraculously discovered that COVID was over. Of what's left, Stockman estimates that just 11% were in the goods-producing sector, a good chunk which are fake, and government-funded green energy companies that will probably go bust soon, see Obama's Solyndra for a case study, but scrape the barrel with what's left, and we're looking at nearly half of jobs, either low-skill areas like home care or hamburger joints, or government jobs that don't create anything, they are parasites. Toss in the wholesale job transfer from native-born to illegals, and the Biden-Harris economy has actually cost jobs, with anybody who's still got a job getting a pay cut. So that's next, brought to you by Unchained.com. For 400 years, all the way back to the 1600s, wages in this country have grown, interrupted only by major wars and major recessions. So that leaves two possibilities. Either we are in a major recession, which the mainstreamers will laugh off, given GDP is allegedly growing at 3%, or worse, we really are in 3% growth, and not one dime is making it to workers. That would be a break with 400 years of American history, indeed of Western history, and would suggest the bastards have finally, after decades of hard work, broken the American economy. Happily, we can get it back. We know how they broke it, so we know how to fix it. But it will take a major change of management to get it done. Okay, we'll be watching. See you next time.